So hello, everybody. It's really great to be with all of you tonight. And Joel has asked me to talk about immunity and energy. And because I'm a nurse and I love science, I know I'm just a little bit nerdy that way. I'd like to start by sharing a little bit about some of the science behind the immune system. My hope is that each of us will gain a greater appreciation for how amazing our bodies are, this miraculous gift that God has given us, and how we can support it to optimize our immune and energy functions. Okay, so our immune system. Daily, each of us is exposed to toxins and pathogens, which are microorganisms that can cause disease. And amazingly, our bodies are created with a built-in immune system that help protect us against hurtful microbes and diseases. Um, there are many organs and systems in our body, you can see here from this picture, that are involved in our immune system. And our first line defense system is um, here, the innate immune system. And this includes barriers like the skin that keeps out pathogens and stomach acid that breaks down and destroys harmful microorganisms. And I'm just wondering how to get, can you, are you guys seeing all of these people on the side of the list? Can you see all my screen or are you just seeing? We, we no, we just see the, the main screen. Only seeing the screen. Okay. All right. So skin that keeps out pathogens, stomach acid that breaks down and destroys harmful microorganisms, enzymes and sweat and tears that have antibacterial properties and also mucus that traps pathogens and immune cells that <laughs> I'm ahead of myself here that attack foreign cells that enter the body. Okay. The next one is the adaptive or acquired immunity. And this is where the body recognizes a foreign disease causing microorganism and it activates the immune system to create antibodies and increase the number of immune cells and white blood cells to attack and destroy the pathogen. This is like an army of soldiers that are recruited to go to battle to help fight off the disease and infection. Organs and cells that help to regulate this whole function and process are the spleen, the thymus, the bone marrow, and the lymph nodes. So you can see the whole body is helping us to maintain our health and wellness. Allergens can trigger the immune system by making it um, hypersensitive and overreact to many things like pet hair, dander, dairy products, dust, pollen, food. And when this happens, the body releases too many white blood cells to defend itself. And this can cause inflammation as well. Now, some inflammation is good for the body because it's our body's natural response to injury and illness. And it signals the body to send in more cells to defend that area and promote healing. But too much inflammation over a long period of time can lead to tissue damage and can overwhelm the immune system. All right, next, it's important. Why is it important to have a strong immune system? So a couple of years ago, a lot of people had a wake up call about the importance of our immune systems. And without warning, our bodies were asked to fight against microorganisms that made some people were very sick that we had no idea were coming our way. So because we never know when these situations may arise, it's important for our immune systems to be strong to defend against disease. So how can we support our immune system so that it will work optimally? Well, first of all, is just to never grow older. How many of you have figured that one out? Any of you? Um, as we get older, our cells age and our organs may become less efficient. We may produce fewer immune cells to fight off infections or illness. And some of us are beginning to look a little bit more like the picture on the right rather than the picture on the left that we would really prefer to have. We're trying to preserve the left as much as possible, but eventually this will happen to all of us. So um, while we cannot actually reverse the aging process, um, biologically, um, we can't reverse our biological age. We can help to reduce our metabolic age. And I know this really isn't part of our class, but I am going to mention it briefly here. doTERRA has an amazing MetaPower line and the MetaPower advantage, um, helps on a cellular level, actually all of it together helps on a cellular level to support cells that may decline with age so that our body can function optimally. If you're interested in this product, reach out to the person who invited you tonight and they can give you more information on that. 
So another important factor with maintaining our immune system, having a strong immune system is our nutrition. Good nutrition is essential for good health. If our cells don't have the energy they need to provide critical safeguards for the body, pathogens can more easily penetrate and multiply. So if we think in terms of cellular health, poor nutrition will not provide the body what it needs to function at its best, and it actually may weaken the immune system. The traditional Western diet is often referred to as the SAD diet or standard American diet, and it is just a little bit sad too, right? This is characterized by foods that are highly processed, fast foods, prepackaged, refined grains, genetically modified corn products, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, artificial colors, additives, you name it. There's a long list. Um, I've heard it said before that some people eat to live while some people live to eat. Some may see few food as fuel for their body, while others use food to satisfy emotional and comfort cues. I've totally been guilty of this. Um, have any of you? Because I, I know I have certainly done this. Um, we are so busy that we often grab something that's quick and easy, something that's a prepared food rather than foods based on the nutritional value. And in the United States, we may generally be well-fed, but we might often be undernourished. Nutrition Nutri nutrient deficiencies are becoming increasingly more prevalent. As much as 95% of American adults do not meet their recommended dietary allowances for at least one significant micronutrient, with approximately half of us being deficient in specific minerals such as calcium, iron, and magnesium. So let's use eating sugar as an example. I found one study on PubMed published in 2020, and it says, although glucose is vital for proper function of immune cells and their proliferation, a high amount of glucose may lead to impaired function of the immune system and pathological conditions. However, a suitable amount of glucose is indispensable for the immune system, but its elevated amount leads to excessive pro-inflammatory cytokine production. So our bodies do need some healthy sugars, but too much causes um, inflammation. Sugar may do these things, impair function of the immune system, lead to illness and disease, cause excessive inflammation and lead to inflammatory diseases. Now, I don't know how familiar you, familiar you all are with inflammation and inflammatory diseases, but let me name just a few of those. So autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, cardiovascular diseases, gastrointestinal diseases, lung diseases like asthma, mental illness like depression, metabolic diseases like type two diabetes, some types of cancer like colon cancer, and even Parkinson's and neurodegenerative diseases. Those are a lot that can be affected by our diet and nutrition and especially sugar and inflammation. So what can we do? We can eat a nutrient, a nutrient dense diet, limit or eliminate processed foods, limit, limit refined sugars, eat foods closest to how they're found in nature, raw, uncooked, whole foods, whole grains, and eat organic when possible. Supplement also with high quality products. And doTERRA has the perfect supplements that we get to talk about tonight in just a moment. So essentially it means eating a nutrient dense diet. And you can see the picture on the left, it's definitely nutrient dense. Look at all of those colors, a high range of colors, fresh raw foods, and then the diet on the right is our sad American diet that we have. Um, let's see. So try to choose as much as you can from this, the one on the left. Another factor that really affects our immune system is stress. And I know none of you have ever experienced any stress. Am I right? Never, ever, no, never stress. Okay. Lucky you if you haven't. Well, we have two different types of stress. There is such a thing as positive stress, and that is called eustress, which is healthy stress. These are things that a type of stress that maybe motivate us to clean our house or the stress um, to study for a test or deal with challenges. Or when we work out, um, our body is responding in positive ways to that stress when we stress it to help rebuild it and for it to repair and become stronger. The bad stress distress is the unhealthy stress. And you can see all of these things that may contribute to distress in our lives. Um, and this releases actually a hormone called cortisol in your body. 
Um, an excess of cortisol can lead to weight gain, adrenal fatigue, and other health issues. So negative effects of adrenal fatigue, cortisol, and stress are an increased tendency to get sick because um, it lowers your immune system, an increased frequency of sickness, and also symptoms of a previous illness may reemerge and become worse. So there's one study that I found in the study was entitled effects, entitled effects of stress on immune function, the good, the bad, and the beautiful. And it noted that short-term stress can actually be helpful because it um, stimulates and activates the immune system. However, and those stresses can be either physiological or psychological, but contrary to that, we have long-term stress or prolonged stress, and that actually suppresses both the innate and the adaptive immune systems um, by increasing chronic inflammation, it then decreases the amount of immune cells that can be released to go help the body to fight inf infection and inflammation. So what can we do? What can we do to push back that dial against stress so that we have heavy, I mean, so that we have a, um, a balanced level of stress in our bodies. So I want to ask you all, what do you do to manage your stress levels? Any ideas? Play guitar. Exercise. Sorry, Jeanette, go. <laughs> uh, exercise. Meditate. Good. Awesome. Hallmark movies. <laughs> <laughs> we can that all cry. What did you say? Oh, no, that makes you cry. <laughs> oh, maybe causes more stress if your personal life's in disarray, maybe. Huh? Anyway, there's so many things that we can find <clears throat> to help us manage stress. Bubble baths, journaling, exercise, like you said, meditation, and chocolate from time to time. Yes, I do put a little chocolate in my diet to help manage my stress levels, which probably causes long-term chronic stress because then I have to burn it back off again, right? <laughs> but so many good things that we can choose from and all of us may choose something different to help us manage our stress levels. Um, another thing that is really going to help with our immune function is a healthy gut microbiome. Um, and I, many of you have maybe heard it said that 70 to 80% of our immune cells are actually located in the gut, in the GI tract. So what is it about the gut that makes it so important for immunity? Well, within the gut, there are three levels to that gut lining. You have your epithelial layer, which um, are the cells that line the gut. And then you have a mucus layer that goes over the top of that. And then on top of that, you have your microbiome layer. And all three of those together, um, those are made up of bacteria and fungi and viruses in the micro uh, microbiome. And they all live together in this healthy balance when there is health and wellness in the body. Amazingly, the microbiome um, of the gut can affect the entire body by signaling the immune response to create more immune T cells and send them to inflamed areas of the body to protect from injury and infection. So all of this works together in this perfect unity to help promote immune wellness within us. So while a healthy gut actually can help activate the immune system, on the contrary, if the gut biome is not healthy, it can prevent the body from mounting an appropriate immune response, which is what we don't want. It's pretty powerful that the GI system can have that much influence over our immune health of the entire body. So what can we do? Are there things we can do to help, you know, improve that gut lining? First of all, avoid antibiotics if at all possible. Um, antibiotics, not only do they kill the bad bacteria, but they also kill the good bacteria of the gut lining. So it's important that you replace the good bacteria with probiotics. And doTERRA has a phenomenal brand new product. I think it's PBX Restore, I think is what it's called. This has been working excellent for me. I love it. Highly recommend it to all of you if you want to try that. Um, but Take a probiotic um, and also work on healing your gut lining. Bone broth is great. MetaPower Advantage actually works to hel help heal the cellular lining of all of our mucous membranes and then eat a, um, a healthy diet. So all of those things can work together to help improve the gut lining and help lead to a more healthy gut microbiome. 
Okay. This picture. I love this picture. Have you ever felt like this? <laughs> Sometimes in the middle of the night or the next day, you know, sleep is so crucial to our immune health. Um, whether you're lying awake in the middle of the night, difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep, or maybe you just stayed up too late and aren't rested and, or getting enough length of sleep each night. We all knows, know what a sleepless night feels like, right? And we, we probably look a little bit like that the next day. But I know when I'm sleep deprived, th then I become more susceptible to illness. For example, um, during COVID, I was working as a full-time nurse. I still am, but we were often short-staffed and we were asked to pick up extra shifts and we were offered financial incentive to do so. So I was incentivized. I picked up extra shifts, ended up working seven out of 10 days in a row. Now, if you're a nurse, you know that working three shifts in a row is exhausting and it often takes a day to recover from working those consecutive shifts, but seven out of 10 in a row was pretty intense. And it wore me down physically because of the lack of sleep I was getting. Um, and also I had frequent exposure to patients who were ill. And so between exposure to illness and the lack of sleep that I had, my immune system became compromised and I too got sick. So rather than being able to kick out the illness at the first sign of illness, I was worn down. According to Philip Swirsky at Mount Sinai, he says, Sleep reduces inflammation and sleep interruption increases inflammation, which can lead to disease. And his study showed that adults need consistently seven to eight hours of sleep each night to help prevent inflammation and disease. So what can we do? Um, I'm sure we all kind of know some things that help us get some more restful sleep. Um, our internal body clock responds to light. And it used to be that go the going down of the sun at night um, help to trigger the body to prepare for sleep. But today we use so much artificial light in our homes and it can negatively affect our sleep cycles. So turning off artificial lights, turning off electronics that emit blue light, blue light suppresses the body's release of melatonin and melatonin signals your body that it's time to go to sleep. So if you're using your electronics late at night, it will take your body longer to be able to unwind and be able to fall asleep and feel drowsy. Um, essential oils used internally and topically, aromatherapy, doTERRA sleep system. I don't know how many of you have tried this, but the serenity stick is the bomb. <laughs> I absolutely love it. You do too, good. Um, I have found such great success with this. It helps me fall asleep faster and I feel like I sleep more deeply with that. So if you're not familiar with that, reach out to someone who brought you here tonight. They can give you more information. Okay, this list here is a list of essential oils that can help for sleep, all of these. For me personally, when I go to sleep to help me get deeper sleep and better sleep, I take two Copaiba capsules, I take two Serenity capsules internally, both all of those, as well as two On Guard capsules, and we'll talk about On Guard in just a moment. Then on the bottoms of my feet, I rub balance all over the bottoms of both feet, and then I rub the Serenity stick. Then I put on some socks, then I turn out the light and I go to bed. And this for me has been a great system to help me be able to fall asleep more quickly and stay asleep. So you're welcome to give that a try. Do any of you have anything that helps you sleep better? Anything? I, love to... I also like, oh, go ahead, Crystal. Oh, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I just want to say, I, I also like to add adaptive at night to help my brain calm down faster. That is so good. That's yeah. great. I, um, I tend to just love like a warm bath and like, just like a little soak. And then like, oftentimes I'll put like lavender in there. And, um, as long as I have adaptive capsules sometime during the day, then it allows for me to have a better night's sleep too. So, yeah. Yeah. I forgot. I actually do take one adaptive capsule every night too. So, okay. Good, good. All right. Let's move on to the next. So we've got our on guard essential oil, and this is a powerhouse for supporting the immune system. And this picture right here is exactly what I think of when I think of on guard and like on guard, you know, it is there to help protect against pathogens 
and to defend against them when they even sneak in a jab or two, which, you know, occasionally we do get sick and we need an extra little immune boost. Um, so if all of you, if any of you have your experience packet and you have your on guard essential oil, would you please pull that out right now? And we're going to give you just a moment. I don't know if you have drops of the oil or if you have on guard beelets in your packet, but go ahead and pull that out, pop that in your mouth, drop that on your tongue. And let's give you just a second. And I would love to hear from you what you are experiencing. Anybody want to say, what is your on guard experience? What does it taste like? What does it feel like? Orangey and cinnamony. It always, I, I love, I have to tell you, like whenever I use this, whenever I feel that tickle in the back of my throat, I always grab one of these beadlets. And if I do it, like right when I feel the tickle, I don't get sick. And I, it just takes one or two of these little beadlet things that I, you know, they're awesome. Good. They're great. On guard is so great. It just kind of nipping it in the bud. Anybody else before we move on? On guard always feels to me like, I, I, I love this picture because that's kind of what the, the, the image that I get in my mind when I, when I smell on guard is like, this smells really, really powerful. You know, it smells like it's got some punch to it and that it's really going to do me a lot of good. It will. <laughs> it does. All right. So On Guard is a powerful blend of these five oils. We've got orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And, you know, what is it that makes these oils so effective? You might ask. Why are they effective? Well, pure essential oils like On Guard are effective at supporting the immune system because not only do they attack the bacteria on the outside of the cell, but they are lipophilic or fat loving, which means they are actually able to penetrate that fatty layer, that fatty membrane, that blue layer there on the cell and interact with viruses which reside within the cell. So together, On Guard helps to fight bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungi, mucus, colds and flu, staph and strep, and coughs. I want to share with you kind of a fun story about coughs. Well, actually, we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, nah, I'll go ahead and share it now. So my family and I were in an audience of about 2,000 people, and we were listening to my brother-in-law address all these people. And all of a sudden, my sister sitting next to me, she started to cough and it was like uncontrollable, just this dry hacking cough. And she she leaned over me and she says, Daisy, do you have any of those on guard throat drops? Those always work for me. And I said, sure. And I handed her the throat drop. And she like just after just a short, very, a short, very short time, it just settled down and she was able to, to manage that really, really well. And I was so glad I had those. I always carry those in my purse. But um, even though she's not a doTERRA, doTERRA essential oil user, she does know that those throat lozenges work. And I, I love them too. I always eat them, even just kind of like a little candy treat. But um, these, these um, On Guard supports a healthy immune response. And what I love about it is that it does so without creating resistant superbugs or wiping out the gut microbiome. So you can be assured that this is a healthy way to attack those bacteria that we don't want residing within us, but it's not gonna create antibacterial resistance like antibiotics do. Okay, so On Guard comes in uh, many different forms. These are the gel caps. I take two every night. Um, how, maybe some of you can tell me what are your favorite ways to use On Guard essential oil? It comes in many different forms. There's the, the toothpaste and the mouthwash on the left. We have um, cleaners and hand sanitizers and hand wash, laundry detergent. What are your favorite On Guard products? I like the, the actual oil. When I start getting like a cold or something, 
I'll just take a bottle of the On Guard and put three or four drops right under my tongue and let it sit there for a while. And then I'll swish it around my mouth and swallow it. It, it uh, is strong. It kind of burns a little bit, but uh, I'm tough. I can take it. <laughs> and, uh, and if I do that and catch it soon enough, the, the cold goes away. There's no problem at all. Awesome. Anybody else? Vote for your favorite on guard product. I was excited to learn last week from uh, Dr. Joel that there's uh, research that says that if you use alcohol-based mouthwash, your risk of uh, diabetes is 50%. Is that correct? Did I get that right, Joel? Chance of developing diabetes by 55%, yeah. 55%. That was, that was so astounding to me. And so I literally ran into the bathroom because I, I, I really like the On Guard mouthwash. And I thought, oh, please, 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 this, this can't have alcohol in it. <laughs> and I read it and it's totally natural. It has all the great On Guard stuff in it. And I, I'm just like, yes, that's one of my favorite products. I love it. That's one thing I love about doTERRA is they do use natural products. So I love that. I love the toothpaste, the hand wash, so, so many of these products. This next one, these are the throat lozenges. I keep these on the buffet chest by my dining table. Um, I just keep them out there and anybody in the house is welcome to take those when they feel a little tickle in their throat. Lately, my son has been chowing down on those and they've been disappearing so quickly. I'm like, I'm going to have to budget for this because <laughs> they're disappearing so fast. But I I love those and just always have those wherever I am. Um, another great way to use On Guard is in a little combination of oils that has been known for years as the cold and flu balm. And you can add these different essential oils, On Guard tea tree, lemon, and oregano into a little empty gel capsule, swallow that down with water or juice, and then just repeat every few hours as needed. Um, in the last few years, there's been an updated version of this one, and this is called Flute. So on this, what you can, this includes frankincense and also thyme, which is new to the other version. And this just with those added two essential oils, it just makes it even more powerful. Um, I like to add equal drops of these and you can just repurpose some of your roll-on bottles that we have from other essential oils that we have used. Take off the label with lemon essential oil and then fill it with some of these other things and use as your personal roller bottle. Place 10 drops of each in the 10 mil roller bottle. Top off a fractionated coconut oil and then just roll wherever you feel you need it, whether it's your throat, behind your ears, the back of your neck, the bottoms of your feet. All these, these different places are great for accessing um, the circulation of the body. So those are a beautiful way to do it. And then for children, um, this is a blend of four different oils, but that are a little bit more gentle. They're great for sensitive skin, excellent for children, but they still help to promote immune support. So you can be guaranteed when your child has this in their backpack or you're, you know, you're going to be rubbing this on them, it will not cause skin sensitivity. And, you know, some of those other oils, as we talked about in flute, our on guard, our oregano, our thyme, those are a little more hot oils. They do need to be diluted, you know, when they're put on your skin. This, obviously, it also is diluted, but it, they're safe for children as well as for sensitive skin. So this is great. A fun little story with this. I had my grandkids over and they were sitting at, at the bar stools and they were having their little snack time. And there's just this green stuff that was starting to, you know, run from the noses of both of both of my grandchildren. And I was just like, oh no. And so I grabbed my bottle of Stronger and I said, okay, it's tickle time. And I just, you know, tickled down up and down their back and rubbed it up and down and Holden just squealed. And then Maddie said, I want some. And, and so I did it for her too, because she had a runny nose as well. And it was great. They had no idea that I was helping to boost their immune system, but we were just involved in fun play with, with kids at the time. So this is just a really great product to have on hand, especially if you have children or grandchildren in your home. Okay, the second half of our class, and I am going to try to be brief because I know time is marching on, but this is about energy. <laughs> Don't you love this little picture of this little kiddo? Um, so, 
Oh, a couple of things that I didn't mention. Sorry, going back to On Guard. I didn't mention the Aroma Touch Massage, which also has On Guard in it. So that's a great way also to get a little immune boost. And on, then also just diffusing on guard if you want to in here, you can, you can do that or, you know, some of the oils if you, if you'd like. So those are great. Um, energy. So this little kiddo, his hair kind of says it all. It's got more energy than it needs, I guess, but we all lead busy lifestyles. There are so many demands for our time. Um, one of my favorite things ever, like I, I mentioned is my grandchildren and to be able to play with them, they come over twice a week and we have playtime and you can imagine, um, my little Maddie, my four-year-old Maddie, she has the wildest imagination. And we would, we would go on bear hunts and we would do piggyback races and we would do hide and go seek. And we were constantly go, 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 go for a long time. And, and the fun thing about that is just how much fun it is to play with them, but it does require some energy, right? And the older we get, we hope that we have energy to keep up with those little ones, right? So whether it's keeping up with grandkids or whether it's keeping up with whatever is on your plate, we all can use some more energy. So the question we all have is how can we improve our energy levels? And interestingly, as we reflect back on everything that we've already talked about tonight, all of the things that we have discussed help contribute to improved energy. If you are taking care of yourselves nutritionally, you're getting adequate sleep, you're managing your stress, you're supporting your immune system, all of those things <clears throat> are going to help with your energy levels. Exercise is also one. And ironically, I think it's interesting how, you know, we, we feel like we're exerting energy and spending energy, but actually it does help to rejuvenate us. Um, it delivers blood and oxygen to our cells and helps our heart and lungs work more efficiently. And you'll have more um, energy. It also releases endorphins, which are the feel good hormone. So regular exercise can also help you fall asleep faster and stay asleep more deeply. So as long as you're not exercising too close to bedtime, right? So um, another is supplementation. And our sad American diet that we saw pictures of previously is not helping us out at all. And it does not include all the nutrients and minerals that we need. Recent studies have suggested that even our healthy whole food diets, we're not getting um, as much nutrient dense foods as we need because of modern farming techniques and the degradation of our soil. So even the most well-planned and strict diet is not always a guarantee that we are meeting our body's nutritional needs, okay? So um, up to 95% of Americans Adults don't meet the daily recommended dietary allowances for at least one significant micronutrient nutrient, and half of us are deficient in important minerals like calcium and magnesium, which are so important for cardiac function and muscle function. So you can see here on, we have the picture of lifelong vitality, and this is um, our number one product at doTERRA. This is a powerful, real food, whole food um, supplement. Um, it optimizes nutritional content and it is a great value financially, um, for cost wise as well. Many of you have received an experience packet. So if you want to pull that out, you can, and take a look at that. Um, a little lifelong vitality, um, vitamin pack. Um, the one thing about this is that it probably will increase your energy. And since it is evening time, you may not want to take that right now at nighttime, may have a little bit of difficulty falling asleep at night. So I would recommend that you take that in the morning. Um, this, so, and take a dose in the morning and a dose at night if you if you have the full dosings. But part of our lifelong vitality, and we shorten it, we call it LLV for short. People outside of doTERRA have no clue what we're talking about, but it's LLV among those of us who use it regularly. One of the products in it is Alpha CRS, and this is a cellular renewal system, and this provides energy and vitality to the cells. It includes antioxidants, anti-inflammatories. Um, it has a blend of herbs that's included in there, and this helps to repair our cells. It helps to um, overcome fatigue, boost mood, and it actually also can help to prevent cancer. Um, XCO Omega um, is a marine and land-based um, omega fatty acid. It includes essential oils, has fat soluble vitamins, and its benefits are it can help with brain fog, help improve um, symptoms of ADD and ADHD, help with anxiety and depression, heart disease, and skin issues. 
VMZ Microplex is the third item in LLV, and this is a food nutrient complex. This includes micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, trace elements, phytonutrients, and antioxidants. So all combined, this is a list of primary benefits that we receive from taking lifelong vitality. And you can see there is antioxidant and DNA protection, which is so important for us in these days when we are having so many onslaughts from chemicals and um, so many things that I won't even begin to mention that are affecting and impacting our DNA function and structure. So this can actually help to protect your DNA so that it functions optimally. But metabolism, bone, immune, stress, heart health, hair, skin, nails, eyes, brain, nerves, liver function, digestive health, lungs, um, all of these things. It's, it's amazing that that can benefit so much of us systemically. Other benefits are that it is chelated, it is full spectrum, it has a protein matrix. And what that means is because it is a protein matrix, it is it more bioavailable. The body recognizes it as a protein source. It recognizes it as a food source. Rather, and so it will absorb it rather than excrete it. And you've all seen what your urine looks like after you've had some vitamins that have not been well absorbed, right? Um, bright yellowy green. And so we are getting greater absorption through lifelong vitality than perhaps from others. And I don't know if you're familiar with the, mito the role of the mitochondria in the cell for providing energy. The mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cells and LLV does support the mitochondria at a cellular level. As we age, we experience decreased vitality and energy because of the number of mitochondria in our cells decreases. Antioxidants and essential nutrients from LLV help protect the mitochondria so they can better provide the nutrients that we need and the cellular energy that we need. And one of the great things about lifelong vitality is that if you are not completely satisfied, you can return it for a full refund. Even if your bottles are empty, take the empty bottles and say, hey, I'm never gonna use this again. I'm really not seeing any difference. I'm not pleased, whatever. You can take that back and receive a full refund, which I, I don't know if you'll be wanting to do after you stay on it consistently for a period of time because of its health benefits, but that is available to you. Um, how to use, take four capsules daily of each, it's recommended you take two in the morning of each with breakfast and two in the uh, around lunchtime. For those of you have, who have not been using essential oils or doTERRA products or who have not led a healthy lifestyle, it's probably recommended that you start with one of each um, for breakfast and then maybe you know a day or even a day and then gradually increase from there and see how your body responds to that. See because you know there may be some detoxifying effects. Just see how you respond. Um, interestingly, there have been clinical trials done and there have been statistically significant improvements in their subjects after using LLV, which is phenomenal that we have statistics, um, to support this positive effects on heart health, antioxidant status, inflammatory markers, and blood sugar regu regulation. And the people involved in those studies reported improved mental status, clarity, energy, greater motivation, more balance, um, more control in their lives, happiness and improved mood and improved health. That's remarkable. It really is remarkable. So you can see that Lifelong Vitality is doTERRA's number one selling product. It's amazing. Um, so I want to ask you, for those of you who have used um, LLV on a regular basis, have you seen any health benefits? any um, improvements to your health and wellness or energy levels. Maybe share some stories if you have that. We definitely have, and we've seen several patients who have as well um, in terms of energy in particular and mental, like mental fog being lifted. Um, but one of the markers that has been very impressive has actually been cholesterol levels have also leveled out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then for me personally, I'd been using several different supplements in the past that were all wonderful, like food, you know, they were food based and they were to help with candida issues that I dealt with after I had my son and uh, nothing 
was resolving it. And I finally started using LLV again. And within two weeks, it cleared up. So um, I was truly impressed by that. Had seen other physicians even because I was just like, oh, I need help. But um, yeah, LLV did it. <laughs> so, That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Stacy. This is Cynthia. Yeah, hello. <laughs> iPhone 2. Well, it's a little choppy. But I, what I found was one of the things that I've just been, it's been really interesting is that it's a sustain of energy energy doesn't do it I know your phone's super choppy but are you saying yeah. sustained energy that you felt through LLV I died are you still there I think that was a that's yes. affirmative. It was. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Sustained energy. Okay, good. Any others? Emily just popped in from the chat. She said, uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. Uh, where is it? I've seen big changes in energy, mood, and motivation. Sweet. We all need motivation to take on everything we need to do each day, don't we? We have so much on our plates. Okay. Excellent. All right. I just want to open it up for any questions. If, if any of you have any questions about anything that we've discussed tonight. Or comments or success stories or testimonials or anything that you would like to contribute. I have a question for you, Stacey. As a nurse, you see a lot of people uh, coming into the hospital and going through the, you know, the the medical side of treatment. Uh, what what do you see as advantages of some of these natural products that you've talked about tonight versus the alternatives? Okay. Um, one thing that. I just absolutely love about natural products and particularly doTERRA is that there are no side effects. There are no unwanted side effects with any drug or any medication that you take. There will always be unwanted side effects and you cannot always control that. You can't. And so with these, you're guaranteed that they're, they're healthy. They're all natural products. They come straight from the earth. They are gift of the earth is, is what doTERRA actually means. And they are my number one go-to. Um, you know, medications for me are kind of like a second resource. If all else fails and after everything that I've done, then that's what I will turn to if I really, you know, need something. But most often I'm able to manage my health and wellness with doTERRA products, with herbs and essential oils, which I love so much. And that's my number one go-to. And it's really hard as a nurse to be in a hospital and work with people and know a solution to something like people will come with a certain problem. And I know, and I just want to think, I just, I think to myself, I have something at home that would actually fix that for you or would help you overcome that or would prevent that in the future. But I, as a nurse, am required to hold my tongue because I can't, I can't, I'm not free to speak. And so that's why I love being in a group of people like you here, where I can freely speak and share what I know is so beneficial to us. And we need healthy, we need things like this, where we can be our own medicine man or medicine woman and have things at our disposal without having to run to a doctor, you know, without, I mean, granted, there's a purpose for that, but what can we do on our own? How can we be a little self-reliant here? What can we do to um, improve our health and wellness and to prevent illness if at all possible, you know, and surely, you know, there are times when we do need a doctor, but if there's anything we can do to prevent that, this is so empowering to have doTERRA products at our disposal. And so that is what I absolutely love about doTERRA and essential oils. 
So that's my testimony. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Ah, thanks for the question. That was a great question. <laughs> that question, Mark, it, um, it kind of jogged my memory with the cholesterol levels that I was mentioning with some of our patients. Um, we do find that oftentimes we'll actually do the vegan um, LLV for them just because sometimes if they're having some issues with uh, metabolizing fats, um, that sometimes the fish oil can be almost too much on their liver. Um, and so we'll, we'll do the vegan version. Um, so that's just a, another option as well. For, that's really for good. That's yeah. really good. Yes. All Steve, right. We got a, a comment, a, a very nice compliment from Kim. She said, this is great information and your voice is lovely to listen to. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. All right. I'm going to wrap it up because I know our time is running out and I've kind of gone over, over time with everything I've had, but there's just, I love detail. I love science. I'm a nurse and I just want to put it all out there for you all so that you have the information. So I apologize if it was too much, but I love it and I want to share it. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, in summary, I just want to say that tonight we have discussed two of doTERRA's top products, OnGuard and Lifelong Vitality. Together, both of these products help to promote improved health, wellness, and energy. And as we enter into cold and flu season and with the uptick of a health threat that was so prevalent a couple of years ago, it's coming back a little bit now, um, as a nurse, as a doTERRA wellness advocate, and as your friend, I highly recommend that we do everything that we can, first, to optimize our health and wellness, second, to support our immune system, third, to provide the nutrition and support we need to stay healthy and strong, and fourth, to increase our capacity to overcome health threats that we may be exposed to in the coming months. So doTERRA has it. So if you don't have those products, reach out to the person who invited you tonight and get some because um, they're amazing and they're beautiful and they work and they're safe and they're effective. <laughs> There's my two bits. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you Stacy.